I think it's a gorilla. I think it's a gorilla. I don't think it's a gorilla, sweetie. Gorillas are much bigger than that. That's a gorilla. That's, it's a gorilla. An it's an it's an orangutan. It's a gorilla. And she made us a whole meal. What is this called? Rasta pasta. Rasta pasta. We got rice. I was trying to make rice and peas, but. This girl, oxtail. Who is making oxtail in the middle of the night? Question. <laughs> this girl right here. <laughs> The hustle. I can't knock the hustle. It is a weave vending machine. Wow. Up. I'm on 
my girl Kay's back patio. Gonna try and get some work done before the festivities start. I'm gonna be hanging out with my family again today. I think we're gonna go to Chuck E. Cheese. And it's been just so cool. Oh my God, this is wet. <laughs> it's been really cool seeing Da Vinci play with his cousins for the first time. Y'all, there's dog hair everywhere. <laughs> And I'm, here I am, like, still trying to get stuff done. Lord. And when you work for yourself, there are no real breaks. Unless you have a team. Which I do not have yet, so. Hey, how old are you now? No, I'm four. You're four! Yay! I like your outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Steps backwards, yeah. And much your lover who don't use big words, yeah. I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want. Baby, can't you figure it out? What's going on? honestly to be able to vlog again <laughs> i am excited i always like switching things up you know what i mean like give us variety give us some fashion give us a little hair give us everything so i am just going to be re redoing my uh ponytail that i took out last night because it was a little bit too tight and it was a little bit uneven so I'm going to go ahead and redo it we are gonna have a little festivities with by the pool hopefully today I never know exactly what's gonna happen in a vlog because it's life and I kind of just go with the flow I have a full tutorial on how to do what I just did but essentially I take a hair tie wrap it around loop it through itself and then pin it with a bobby pin i do feel my hair is a bit dry it's actually time for a wash but i have an audition that i need to do i need to basically see if i'm going to get called back from an audition that i previously did a few days ago and then also film an audition today so like i can't change my hair the last time i changed my hair i feel like that cost me the job <laughs> and it was like a very you know i had a twist out that was more fluffy i came back they were like i washed my hair i twisted out again but it was a little bit more defined i came back they're like you changed your hair and i was like yeah you know i can do whatever i want or not whatever i want that's not what i said but i said you know my i basically tried to explain to him like yeah like i can get it back in that style if you want but I do feel like it, it costs me the job. And the one thing about being an actor is like 50% of it is what you look like. And not like if you're attractive or not necessarily, which is what I thought it was. It's more, do you fit the part? Do you have an, the interesting look that they want, blah, blah, blah. And unfortunately, your hair is a part of that. So I think I have a little water here. I don't want it to revert too much, but it does need a spritz. It probably needs a little bit of moisturizer too, so <sighs> let me get it. Hello, I forgot to record, so I have the Emerge hair conditioner, hair moisturizer that smells like flowers, legit, and um, it's okay. It's, it's good for the price, like it gets the job done, but I just don't feel like it hydrates over a long period of time, but I am gonna use it up and probably not get it again for my lips i just did like a pink mixture i have these palettes when i used to be a makeup artist i used to obviously sanitary reasons you don't want to use sticks on people so i would put it in these kind of things and i kind of just got hooked to it because it saves so much room i do not like clutter which is a reason why i don't accept a lot of like PR, unless it's in a different category. Like hair care, it's like nice, but I have so much of it. That's why like you guys will see me unboxing like more like skincare or makeup or like candles, things like that. Ooh, which reminds me, I do need to unbox some things. Uh, okay, so in today's vlog, you are probably going to see an unboxing eventually. You're going to see a trip to the zoo. We wanna go out by the pool at some point. I don't know, we'll just see what 
we'll just see what this vlog brings. I've been loving these two puffs recently. This has just been my style. My grays kind of love it too because it's just this cute little streak. I don't know, like I'm kind of feeling like not dyeing my hair but then again I, I still might I don't know I'm also thinking of doing some kind of like twists or something in my hair I don't know I don't know finally officially ready for the day I keep meaning to wear these sunglasses and today I'm finally gonna wear them outfit is here some of the little sandals that I walk around the house in right there what is that hanger doing that see I tell you I tell you it's a mess over here sometimes anyway we're gonna head to the zoo today <sighs> Da Vinci's request, and of course, we will oblige. Good morning. We are headed to the zoo today. We're very excited. This was all Da Vinci's idea. So, you know, we're just gonna make sure he has some fun today. Little ones back there. <laughs> Watch me under the light. So keep me in your sight. Cause I can do to the zoo. Jay suffering with allergies right now. Ugh. I don't even Oh my god, you're literally crying. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to have to hold it down for the family. Finch, come here. It's a gorilla. It's a gorilla. I don't think it's a gorilla, sweetie. Yeah. Gorillas are much bigger than that. All right, they literally running after the tigers now, but nah, we ain't trying to run up on it like that. It's an orangutan. It's an orangutan. It's a gorilla. Da Vinci, it's not a gorilla. We didn't see the gorillas yet, buddy. You'll know when we see them. We'll show you the gorillas, okay? Finally get a little piece in oh hell no. I don't like when it stops like this. Hold on. I was about to say this is so peaceful. You, you're not nervous? No. Oh god. I used to be scared of heights when I was younger, like for real. Used I used to be. You, I mean I'm not like oh Lord, the wind. Oh hell no. This is I don't I don't like Okay, let me not let my such oh! a worry, such a worry Oh word. shoot. Hold on, I started sweating a little bit. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Such a this is why word. I don't like roller coasters. Oh my god. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. As long as it keeps moving, I'm okay. Uh, 
got oh, to yeah, ride the train. Oh yeah, we got to ride the train, exactly. We're just gonna sign off right now. I'm about to play PlayStation. said you can have the cupcakes only the icing part <laughs> he said daddy said as soon as I saw him daddy said it's time for an unboxing I have been on this white kick white toenail season as politics and fashion would say that's not her real name but <laughs> that's her username and I've been searching for whites that are easier to put on. I don't know if this is good, but I got some good reviews. Okay, so apparently what you can do is for your base coat, you can put on a matte nail polish. So this is a matte top coat. And then you can top it with a white nail polish. So this matte one is from Sally Hansen. It's a top coat miracle gel matte. And then... This is an OPI nail lacquer in Funny Bunny. So that's what I have to try to combat my problem with white. I do have a gel nail system, but let me tell you guys, it took forever to get it off my feet and it was super awkward and <laughs> oh no, it was super awkward. I wanna do gel on my hands, but not necessarily my feet. So I'm looking for solutions to help with that. So apparently the mat is supposed to help with the streaking because it's like a little bit, it grabs on better. Okay, and then I went to amazon.com because I needed a white pair of sandals. And so I got these. Okay, so I really feel like the Bottegas are like really in right now, the square toe, everything. This does not have a square toe. This has more of like a rounded toe. I'm not gonna show you guys what these look like on in the video because <laughs> I tried to give myself a pedicure and it was good until I put my shoes on and messed the whole thing up. So now I have to do it over again. But this is a white shoe. If you're looking for a white sandal, it's pretty cool. It does show quite a bit of the toe. So if you're not into your feet or how they look, it might not be the cutest option for you. <laughs> but if you're okay with your feet, then they'll get the job done. And I've been needing a white pair of shoes. Okay, so I ordered from a black owned business, a small black owned business. It's called Onyx Love. And I ordered some soap. Ooh, these smell really good. Okay, so I ordered one that looks like a strawberry shortcake. So if you're into natural, like all natural soaps and stuff, you might really like this brand. She put it in a bag. Cause look, it looks just like strawberry shortcake. Look at how fun that is. Oh. It has like a nice, like a floral scent to it. That's surprising. I thought it was gonna smell super sweet. And then I ordered like kind of like a honeycomb looking thing. If you're into shops like Lush and whatnot, and that's what that looks like. It's a light scent. Like if you're not into scents, you might actually like her stuff because the scent isn't too crazy. And she puts it in this little box here. This is the name of her brand, Onyx Love. And then she was so sweet, she got me a third thing that I didn't even order. What is this? Is this, this is like a blueberry pie? I can't. Oh my God, it's like a little pie. I cannot. Super cute. Okay, let me move on. But if you are interested in handmade soaps, Onyx Love on Etsy. I will link her down below so that you guys can check her out. And we have another. Oh, this is cute. Your pores are so happy right now. So this brand is called Versed. First, there's a headband. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this is just to hold your hair back while you wash your face, which I've been needing one of these, so I'm very, very happy. I did get sent this stuff. This is the Versed Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution. Um, for acid complex and bearberry extract. So this looks kind of like maybe a toner. 
Yep, it's a brightening toner that targets dark and post acne spots with four exfoliating AHAs, even skin tone with bare berry and refine the look of pores with witch hazel. I so love witch hazel. So that's what that looks like. Next is the Gentle Cycle Milky Cleanser. This is made for dry skin. It has oat milk, it has probiotics, it has a pH balancer or pH adjusting vinegar. It keeps the skin calm and balanced. So that's that. I may give that one to my husband because he has dry skin. I have oily skin or combination oily, but I'll still give it a try because my skin has been drying out a lot more as I've gotten older. So this is Auto Save Advanced Restoring Serum. This is for aging skin and dullness. It says smooth two pumps into clean, almost dry skin. Let it soak in for one minute before you sleep. Oh no, I'm sorry, before your next step. <laughs> okay, so this is like a serum of some sort, a restoring serum. I love the colors of this brand, by the way. This color scheme is really in right now. Um, ooh, this is a daily mineral sunscreen. 15% zinc oxide, 15.2%. It's an SPF 35. So when they reached out to me, this is the thing I was super excited about because I was like, I need me some sunscreen. <laughs> I have sunscreen but they tend to break me out so this one i'm assuming it's also for your face so i'll give it a try see if it breaks me out smoothing non nano zinc oxide spf with a natural satin finish my blue light blockers and pollution fighting antioxidants protect my skin from your devices and environmental stressors i never even thought of like my computer hurting me so that's interesting outside of my eyes well, what is this this is the verse stroke of brilliance brightening serum with vitamin c licorice root extract Ooh, it's like a dropper this is made for dullness aging skin you press two drops into clean almost dry skin and let it sink in for two minutes you can do it night morning after cleansing but before moisturizing I am very excited about everything that i have the the purchase things the scent things I feel as though I am very blessed and you know I like to share it with you all as much as I can. I try not to go overboard with buying so much stuff and also not accumulating too many things as well, but I will always share and I, I accept things that like I'm like, okay, I'm running low on. I might need some some more just to try out. So I'm very strategic with it, but I'm gonna link verse things down below as well. <sighs> I feel like it's Christmas. Christmas. Thank you all to Verse for sending this to me. You know, Onyx Love Boutique for sending me the stuff I ordered plus the extra blueberry pie. So, so grateful. If you like vlogs, definitely subscribe. I will have more vlog content coming up. And yeah, I will see you guys in a couple days. Okay, let me go enjoy these goodies. <laughs> okay.